Welcome to StuffWorks Explained, a channel that explores events, projects, and activities in different parts of the world, but with more focus on what is happening in Africa. In today's video, we'll be talking about an important corridor in the south uh, part of Africa, the Lobito uh, Corridor. We'll be asking ourselves, What's the importance of this corridor in Africa? Is its renewed development uh, part of the new scrub of Africa by the Western powers? Or is this development meant to reduce China's influence in Africa? Welcome and let us try to answer this question together. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, for the support viewers we thank you uh, for the repeated viewers that is we thank you for your support the lobito corridor is a trade route that connects the angolan port of lobito to the copper belt regions of zambia and democratic republic of congo drc it is one of the most important trade corridors in southern africa and it plays a vital role in the transportation of minerals agricultural products and other goods. The corridor is comprised of a network of roads, railways and uh, waterways. The Benguela Railway, which runs from Lobito to the DRC border, is the backbone of this corridor. The railway has been underutilized in the recent years due to neglect and conflict, but currently is going through uh, rehabilitation. The Lobito Corridor is an important corridor for a number of reasons. First, it provides a vital outlet to the sea for the Copper Belt regions of Zambia and DRC. The Copper Belt is home to some of the world's most, I mean, largest copper and cobalt deposits, and the Lobito Corridor is the most efficient way to transport these minerals to the global markets. Second, the Lobito Corridor provides access to the Atlantic Ocean for countries like Angola, Zambia, and DRC. This access to the Atlantic is important for trade, development, and uh, security. Thirdly, the Lobito Corridor is a key part of African continental free trade area. The African continental free trade area is a trade agreement that aims to create a single market for the goods and services in Africa. The Lobito Corridor will facilitate trade between countries of the African tr uh, continental free trade area, helping to boost economic growth and development across the continent. The development of Lobito Corridor is a major priority for the governments of Angola, Zambia, and DRC. The governments are working to rehabilitate uh, the Benguela Railway and other infrastructure across this corridor. They are working to streamline border crossings and reduce other trade barriers. The development of the Lobito Corridor is also a priority for the international community. The United States and European Union, as well as other Af uh, countries, are providing financial and technical assistance to support and develop, mid uh, support development of this corridor. There are plans to construct a new Zambia Lobito railway line. The project is still in the early stages of planning, but it has potential to revolutionize transportation in this part of Africa. The railway line will connect the Angolan port of Lobito and Zambia. It would also be linked to the existing SGR networks in Kenya and Tanzania, creating a transcontinental railway that would connect the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The line will have a number of benefits for the countries of South Africa, Southern Africa. First, it would provide faster and more efficient way to transport goods and people between the countries. This would boost trade and economic growth. Second, the line would reduce the cost of transportation. This would make it cheaper to import and export goods, which would benefit benefit uh, businesses and cost, uh, consumers alike that the line would create jobs and uh, opportunities for people in the countries along the corridor 
uh, the construction and operation of the railway would generate jobs and also increase trade and this would create new business opportunities. Fourth, the line would improve uh, regional integration and cooperation where the railway would make it easier for people and goods to move between the countries of the region uh, which would foster closer ties and cooperation. The Zambia Lobito railway line is a long-term project and it is ex expected to take several years to complete. However, the potential benefits of the project are significant and the governments of uh, the countries involved are committed to make it a reality. And soon it may become a reality given the recent development, especially during the September 2023 G20 summit in India. On the margins of Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, PGII, event at the G20 in India, the United States of America, the European Union, welcomed the recent commitment by the governments of Angola, Zambia and DRC to develop the Lobito Corridor, a corridor that connects Southern Democratic Republic of Congo and the northwestern part of Zambia to the regional and global markets through the port of Lobito in Angola. To accelerate this work in partnership with three countries, the European Union and the uh, United States are teaming up to support the development of the corridor, including by launching feasibility studies for the new Greenfield Railway Line expansion between Zambia and Angola. The US-EU partnership will upgrade critical infrastructure across Sub-Saharan Africa to unlock the enormous potential for this region. The partnership is combining financial resources and technical know-how to accelerate the Lobito Corridor development, including investment in digital access and agriculture value chains that will increase regional competitiveness. As an immediate step, the United States and the European Union will support the governments in launching pre-feasibility studies for the construction of the new uh, Zambia Lobito Railway from the eastern Angola through northern Zambia. This builds on uh, US-led support to refurbish the railway section from Lobito Port in the Angolan uh, country to the DRC. Once transport infrastructure connecting all these countries is fully operational, the corridor will enhance export possibility for Zambia, Angola and DRC. It will also boost regional circulation of goods promote mobility of citizens and other benefits. By significantly reducing the average transport time, the new railway will lower the logistic cost and carbon, uh, carbon footprint of exporting metals, agricultural goods and other products, as well as for the future development of any minerals discoveries. This according to the, the two partners, US and uh, EU. So they see this as an opportunity for these countries to be able to export uh, goods uh, to, to international markets. But when you look at these, uh, they, are, they are concentrating on uh, export of raw materials, uh, not processed goods. And this is what has been used to uh, make a claim that this is a new scramble for Africa, where they want to make it easy, where the Western powers want to make it easy uh, to get minerals out of Africa. The United States and the uh, European Union are offering assistance for the construction of the uh, this international railway in Africa and uh, to bring resources from mining areas to the port uh, in a test whether they can gain a foothold in Africa. This is where China has gained influence through the Belt and Road Initiative it is also intended to strengthen supply chains for critical minerals, reducing donor dependence on China. U.S. President Joe Biden, on uh, during that occasion, on September 9th, 2023, called this a game-changing regional investment. This is when he announced the U.S. would support the development of the Lobito Corridor in partnership with the EU. 
The corridor aims to strengthen a distribution network that connects Angola and Port of Lobito on the Antarctic coast of uh, part of the ocean to the Zambia and the DRC, which are inland countries that are rich in minerals and uh, resources. These are source. This this information that is sourced from the White House. So this this is what has been uh, taken to advance the theory that this is a new scramble for Africa. The U.S. and the EU will support feasibility studies on extending the existing railway from eastern Angola through the northern Zambia. Uh, this, is according to the U.S. government, uh, one of the spokesperson. Helena Metza, who is acting special coordinator for the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment at the U.S. State Department, said that the U.S. would also finance a project to refurbish the existing railway from Angola to the DRC. The DRC is one of the world's largest producers of co cobalt, a mineral or a material that is essential for the production of lithium-ion batteries, which are used in electric vehicles consumer electronics and other products. The Central African Republic also has deposits of other critical minerals and uh, along with its neighbors, uh, Zambia is a major source of uh, copper. Chinese companies are already active in both of these countries. So with, the sub with this support, uh, they will help to counter China's influence and also be able to get a share from this uh, resource or mineral rich uh, region. Increased U.S. and uh, EU involvement in physical distribution in Africa may help Western companies enhance their supply chains. In Africa, China has been the first to lend helping hand in building railways, mainly in sub-Saharan African countries. In Kenya, a railway linking Nairobi, the capital, with the port of Mombasa was completed in 2017 with Chinese assistance. Work to extend railway has continued since then. There are plans to extend it uh, to the Ugandan capital Kampala by 2030. A Chinese built railway is also operating in Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia and, uh, and Djibouti. It is uh, so there's a, that connection between Ethiopia and Djibouti, and this was also done by a Chinese company. A Chinese company has also received an order for railway construction in Nigeria whose population of 200 million is the largest in Africa. China brings strength including generous lending and companies able to engage in large-scale uh, large project. It does not concern itself with human rights or democracy in the countries it, has, it assists. Unlike the U.S., so China tends to be welcomed by authoritarian leaders. This is a claim that has been made by the United States. However, the terms of loans China offers are uh, often criticized as opaque and some accuse it of setting debt traps in which borrowing nations are at risk of taking on debts they cannot repay and giving China influence over the how resources in those countries are developed. United States says that Beijing has also been forced to reconsider its lavish lending. Last year it just lent uh, less than $1 billion in Africa. This is according to Boston University. Chinese loans to Africa have also continued to fall since peaking at $28.5 billion in 2016. The main reason is that defaults on loans have risen in countries that are taking part in Belt and Road Initiative, partly because of COVID-19 and other causes. According to the survey by U.S. research specialist Rhodium Group, a loan default in 2020 uh, to 2022 were worth a total of $76.8 billion. This is 4.5 times the amount in 2017 to 2019. The slowing Chinese economy is also forcing its leaders to adjust their overseas investment policy. China's foreign exchange reserves which help fund the investment are, are currently flat. The Belt and Road Initiative is at its turning point as President Xi has given instruction to raise investment returns from the project. The U.S. and uh, US EU support for Lobito Corridor is one of the first projects under the Partnership for Global Investment. 
a framework for infrastructure development in developing countries that was agreed on at the group of seven summit in 2022. The G7 nations aim to provide a total of $600 billion in assistance, including private funds under the framework by 2027. Washington touts the Lobito Corridor project as a source of local jobs, uh, trade promotion, strengthened supply chains and food security in African countries. A distinguished from the Chinese model, which typically comes as a package that includes Chinese workers and locomotives. So each of these parts is claiming that they are coming to benefit Africa. So we'll see whether this is a new scrabble for Africa, where now uh, a partnership between US and EU is now coming in to check the influence of Chinese in Africa. And they are coming but the, the, the problem is both approaches that they are coming to get minerals from Africa. They are not coming to promote economic development through uh, probably allowing these countries to process their own minerals. So we'll see uh, whether this development will come to uh, flotation and whether they are going to benefit the countries they purport to benefit. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. For repeat viewers, we thank you for your support. Thank you.